I work for AXT, which is used to be called Any X-Ray Thing, and as of uh, last year, we started representing Geotech in Australia and New Zealand. So, not another Cologa, one would think. Oh, why? The difference is it's multi-sensor Cologa. It's uh, Geotech. All right. We also present others as Melissa was, uh, so I'll skip that. Geotech sold all in the world more than 220 units of multi-sensor Cologa. Uh, most of them were uh, used in uh, research and traditionally research and academic. Now we're moving into mining and exploration. Uh, MSCL systems are flexible. They are multi-sensor as uh, you can put uh, A single core from NQ to PQ250 uh, oil and gas core uh, through the systems and uh, log it simultaneously taking multiple sets of data. With why is drilling? Uh, drilling is very expensive and might as well uh, take the most data out of the core before it got destroyed by the multi-acid digestion and burnt into spectro uh, spectrometers. So, and when, when the half a core is cut and gone, it's gone forever. Do, uh, it's a good idea to have a uh, core logged completely from every point um, before it, you start even scratching the core. Uh, test it non-destructively. Well, geoscientists and engineers need to agree that maximize data recovery from every core in a time and cost efficient manner. I agree to that. Geotech offers a range of MSCL platforms dependent on the customer sensors and logging requirements. So it's basically off the shelves uh, sensors. You can, with minimum uh, adjustment, uh, MSCL core loggers take over the operating system of say XRF or ASD um, or TerraSpec uh, sensor and uh, process, uh, you lock the core automatically at a given interval. You can select from one centimeter point or t in boring uh, comp uh, core, potent core, you can scan every uh, 10 centimeters and then if you find something, uh, element of interest, you can always come back and relog it at uh, shorter. Uh, uh, distances, uh, intervals. So the good thing about it, it's very, um, you can add and remove uh, sensors as you wish. If you require very near uh, infrared, you can put uh, ASD. Um, and basically, um, standard multi-sensor Colog MSCLS, which uh, can get you set up. Let's change here. It's, it's That's a table from Simon Domini, uh, Dr. Simon Domini from uh, Camborne School of Mines, where we can uh, use a core. And you can see from exploration through BFS to uh, mining, you can always use core logging. So it's a very important method. So extract all information from your core that you need on every single stage in your analysis. Right. That's an example of a waterfall plot. Um, data from whole rock cores acquired from copper porphyry system in one of the, somewhere in the planet of Earth. Um, it's about 500 meters of core from uh, exploration core. It's represented, you can see the variation in, uh, in composition and rock types. Uh, it uses, uh, used the PQ and HQ core because it's a dipole. The data was acquired before even visual core logging and the geologists were using that information to identify the area of interest and target um, Q 
key areas for further investigation. So there's a correlation, as you can see, it's um, blindly obvious for 21 that uh, the core is uh, very efficiently, uh, the data uh, can, can be used. The different platforms, um, our standard multi-sensor core logger, it, uh, uh, it's our fl flagship, uh, it, it can take up to nine sensors. It can take petrophysical and geochemical sensors. Sensors at the moment are total gamma density, uh, spe uh, spectral, natural gamma, uh, non-contact resistivity, handheld XRF, uh, near infrared and visible uh, spectroscopy, magnetic susceptibility, a loop and a point magnetic susceptibility, high resolution line scan imaging up to uh, 20 microns resolution, so it's, we're getting into the ore microscopy with that uh, line scan camera. Then color spectro, uh, spe spectrophotometry. Plus Geotech offer also a range of uh, X-ray CTs, which I'm not going to touch in this presentation. That's a uh, type of sensors that can be used. Um, total 11 sensor systems to our MSCL instruments. Multiple sensors can be installed onto one MSCL and sensors can be, can be added uh, after purchase at a later stage when the budget um, allows. Geotech also uh, offers uh, two forms of X-ray spectrometry and very near, uh, near infrared and short wave infrared spectroscopy. All MSCL systems are modular and can be upgraded at, at later date. So it's basically like a Meccano toy. You can put it on, join in the all working without conflict and every uh, sensors not running with its software but the geotech software. All the uh, results you obtained you have it as ASCII file and in case of uh, the spectral data um, and uh, line scan imagery as 16-bit TIFF files um, So the sensors are specific to MSCLS. Those um, where non-core geometry is required in order to for the sensors to work. Geotech systems are very flexible, uh, and they've been utilized C container-based laboratory for more than 20 years for um, their own offshore projects, and therefore. I've used that experience to design customer container laboratories for use onshore or, or offshore for that matter. Geotech uh, customers include a European uh, consortium of ocean research drilling, Taiwanese Ocean Research Institute, British Antarctic Survey. Um, there is a, a MSCL sensor called, uh, I think, at number th 16, produced some. 20 years ago, and it's still taken to the high Arctic in uh, uh, summer by, the, I think it's the University of Utrecht. And uh, on informal communication, a professor was responsible in the laboratory, um, been asked how many uh, PhDs been through that uh, MSCL. He said more than 1,000. So it's a robust system. There's another example. SMI Institute in Indorapili in uh, Queensland. They had uh, XYZ big um, uh, platform for more than 10 years mothballed somewhere under a ton of rubbish, somewhere in, in, in the shed. And uh, with help of Geotech online and um, the director um, of research, uh, fellow of, um, of SMI, uh, made it work again. So the line scan camera is. Um, given the great imagery. Ten years just totally turned off. So it's very robust and reliable system. So it can be used for hard rock, placer deposits, and split samples. It can take as a half core, a full core, for up to one and a half meter length in core. 
uh, on this one, nine sensors can be taken uh, multiple data sets simultaneously, all co-registered with depth and uh, represented as a waterfall, uh, waterfall plot. It can be also put into that 20-foot uh, container lab and you can, can comfortably load and load core. That, uh, that's what we're going to show you on uh, uh, tomorrow's visit to XT. It's XZ, as you can see, is PXRF. Uh, they introduced Olympus Delta. Now, now we have Olympus Vanta, which is better. It hasn't got that handle. So geometry works much better. It's got line scan camera. They can take uh, that, that image up to 20 uh, micron resolution. And there's a light box, so the sample is flooded with the uh, LED. And it oh, doesn't matter whether it's day or night outside, you can see the, um, the, the li lighting conditions are always the same. There's a point uh, RGB and Mansell color uh, sensor. Uh, on top of that, uh, back to the line scan camera, it can t uh, it can put UV uh, lights in there and take in UV lights. Also, you can uh, in normal light you can we can cross polarize uh, lens and the light box and take wet core samples without the spectral reflectance of water. MSCL. XZ is only for surface uh, contract, uh, contact measurement, and uh, there's uh, sensors go over the core. Core is not moving. It can take half core or full core up to, again, uh, 150 millimeters in diameter. So that's obviously it's, uh, beginning from the origin from oil and gas work. That's why the core is such a uh, large, but we have uh, HQ core uh, and matter of uh, changing the height of the camera in order to get to, into focus, just two Allen, uh, Allen sc screws, grab screws. Um, right. Whole core measurement might be less accurate uh, than a half core measurement in, in this particular case because the geometry of the surface uh, the larger, the, f the flatter the core, obviously, uh, everyone knows that it's uh, easy to look at and see the variation in, in whatever yeah. factors. And next year in PDAC in Canada, the box scan is going to be launched officially. And uh, it's similar to XZ uh, MSCL. It, can, it has laser profiler. Um, a handheld XRF, uh, line scan, and can basically um, use a, a every uh, sensor that can be set on, um, can be used for MSCL XZ. Here we have a data set collected by MSCLS, so combining petrophysical and geochemical uh, data sets from one system enables us to unravel complex geological strata to get better understanding of history um, and stratigraphy. Here we ha see the change in um, density. And initially, uh, client thought that it was a change in chemistry. But with the MSCL study, in that case, uh, the carbonate diagenesis is, is changing the density of rock unit. And the chemistry of uh, the carbonate units pretty much stays the same. And on the, with the data set like that, you can see it's obvious. Line scan imaging, that's what I was talking before. It can take uh, line, um, it scans line after line and automatically stitches the uh, mosaic, or rather uh, montage. So it's seamlessly integrated. It's, uh, 
Uh, it can be used, uh, set up on uh, MSCLXZ or MSCLS or um, the box scan. Uh, so single lights of images are collected sequentially down the core. Line scan images are great in quality because they do not suffer from uneven lighting or spherical distortion. The entire image is suitable for calibrated under one millimeter image analysis. XRF systems uh, li like MSCL XZ or MSCL S. Um, that's an example of dry core. Yes, as I said, there's uh, also good images with the cross-polarized uh, cross images in wet core. And it's very fast. It can take uh, 1 meter 40 seconds um, for per meter at uh, 20 microns resolution. So that I calibrated to PPM, uh, sample, user interface. Uh, combined with uh, XRF heat map, you can uh, see the good, ex good example here as there's an increase in calcium. You can see it. it's um, cal calcium heat map, and it co obviously correlates with that. Uh, uh, calcite veins. This example from uh, case study copper porphyry mine in the US. During exploration, uh, copper porphyry system you tend to take a lot of core because uh, they're big, large systems, and you're trying to find particular areas inside the the porphyry systems. In this particular area, they were drilling uh, close to the scans. Um, very high metal concentration were present um, in order to investigate the size of the ore body. And hyperspectral um, image in uh, very near infrared or short uh, wave infrared by SpecCam 4. Geotech uh, included SpecCam 4 into MSCLS uh, platform with uh, other parameters. What benefits are? Uh, simultaneously scanning and acquisition of mineralogical data sets uh, is used for comparable investigation of this uh, lithological unit. The SpecCam uh, for hyperspectral camera uses real-time imaging infrared spectroscopy to identify and produce semi-quantified mineralogy from the surface of rock cores and cuttings. The acquisition of a continuous data set allows for the production of mineral distribution maps to specially understand the impact of clay, carbonate or alteration minerals for the geological assessment of oil and gas reservoirs or mineral exploration sites. Hyperspectral, uh, infrared spectrometry, uh, different uh, from other point spe spe uh, sensors technology such as ASD, TerraSpec 4, uh, provides um, full spectral information across the core and down the uh, full core length. Uh, whereas the, of course, point uh, uh, measurements are discrete and um, provide information on only those discrete uh, areas. Uh, spectrum, uh, SpecCam 4 uh, hyperspectral camera is available on any of the Geotech MSCL S uh, multi-sensor core logger platforms like MSCL S, XZ or XYZ. And now it is uh, offers, um, it offers uh, ability to users to um, acquire hyperspectral data sets uh, together with XRF 
magnetic susceptibility, visible and ultraviolet uh, co-imaging, even uh, density and porosity, uh, as, as well as P-Wave. Uh, currently, Geotech is working on S-Wave. Um, thank you. All natural spectral gamma on one co-logging platform. And uh, in summary, they, uh, MSCL co-loggers are offer non-destructive and quick and simultaneous acquisition of geophysical and geochemical parameters from the exploration and oil and gas cores. Thank you very much.